you might be seeing decorative skeletons in people's yards because spooky season is here. When you think of a skeleton, whose do you think of? A human? Maybe a fish? A snake? A crow? Have you ever thought of plants having a skeleton? For today's science project, what we're going to do is turn leaves into a skeleton. What you need for this project is a variety of leaves. You can find these leaves in your backyard, but remember, taking or leaving anything at a forest preserve is not allowed. The type of leaf that works best for this project are thicker leaves with veins that you can see. Um, bigger, waxy, strong leaves work really well for this project. With adult supervision, because we are going to be using a stove or a hot plate, turn it on and we are going to measure one liter of water. Before handling any chemicals, we need to ensure that we are wearing proper safety gear. So eye protection and gloves are a good idea for this project. We're gonna measure out a three quarters of a cup of Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And carefully pour it in our pot of water. Using a wooden spoon, give it a gentle stir to dissolve the washing soda and carefully add your leaves to the mixture. We're gonna get this to a simmer and keep an eye on it because you want water to always be in the pot. So as some of the water is evaporating out, it's a good idea to add just a little more to make sure the leaves stay underwater. All right, now that our leaves have been, been boiling for about two hours, I'm going to gently, carefully take one out we are going to use a variety of different tools. I have a few paint brushes here. Some are a little more stiff than others. I have an old toothbrush. So just see what you have around the house that will work best for you. A little bit of trial and error. But what we're going to do is very gently uh, start brushing away at the leaf matter. If you do this too hard, your leaf will tear just using a small amount of water to clear the brush. And see how I brushed away most of the leaf matter on this side of the plant. So after we have removed the leaf matter from in between the veins of the leaf, we are ready to press it and preserve it so it can dry. So all we need for this step are some paper towels and a good heavy book. So I'm just gonna lay out some paper towels and gently lay my leaf right in the center. Put a few more layers of paper towels on top and take your book, set it on top until it's dry. You might be lucky enough to find a leaf skeleton like this out in the woods. Decomposers and different insects eat away at the soft plant material and leave behind the veins or the skeleton of the leaf. And you have to be lucky enough to find this at just the right moment before it fully decomposes. But now you know how to make your very own leaf skeletons at home.